Hello everyone, this is a quick demo video demonstrating how to use Quick Views, a, the new tool created for DRoots 1. And what you can do from this plugin is to quickly create interior views for your rooms and spaces. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate it using the plugin. Let's open the plugin and see what we're dealing with. So, first thing that you see when you open it is your uh, is a list of all your rooms and spaces in this table okay you can see the name of the of the project which it's uh it's on the level of the room the number the name and the call out and section or elevation view status okay you can check if you want to, to list only the rooms in the active view or in the whole model in this case let's leave it at the active view Okay, and you have options to create callout views and or elevations or section views. Okay, so let's go into the callout view settings, and now you can select the callout type. Okay, the scale, the detail level, and the 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 phase that which uh, the views are, go are going to be added, and also you can add a, a view template. Okay, and of course the view template might override all the settings but if you decide not to use a view template you have that option too you can also select how you want the callout boundary to be created if you want it to be a rectangle or if you want the callout to be uh, aligned with the room's boundaries okay and you can also set up a, an offset for the room boundary okay this is what we are going to set up in this first step on the second tab, you have the naming convention. So you have all the, the parameters here, the room parameters, okay, that you can just uh, double click to add, okay. You can uh, drag and drop your, your parameters here. Um, you can set up custom fields, custom static fields, for example. So, for example, in this case, I added callout as a custom static field. Okay. You can create custom separators or you can use a standard field separa separator which is going to add this separator between each of these uh, parameters. Okay. You also have some options to move these parameters uh, uh, order. So you can move uh, to the top, you can move down, you can move up, you can move to the bottom or you can click this button to clear everything. Okay. So let's add it back callout yeah so that's how we want our callout names to be um, you can also add parameter values to your views so you can later organize your project browser and for that in this case we still don't have any uh, parameter but we can quickly add them by using para manager okay so just add a new parameter it's a text parameter let's go to categories let's change a name uh, browser organization browser org. let's set up the categories to views hit ok and check this one apply and done you have the browser organization parameter on your views already now if you go back to quick views you can click the settings button go to parameters and you can add this new parameter here let's call it callout okay. and you can also set up the settings for a section or elevation views you can set up the elevation type or the section type scale detail level phase and also set up a view template in um, in the sections and elevations you also have the option to join the elevation views into one single marker and this is going to uh, make the, the plugin understands that when you have, for example, a rectangular uh, room, right, and you want only four elevations, one uh, elevation pointing into uh, each wall, you click this one. And if the plugin can do this, uh, this, uh, this marker, it will do. Otherwise, it will give you a, a warning saying that it, it wasn't able to do it because of the complex geometry of the room. Okay, you can also set up the, the crop margins. Okay, you can set up the height, you can set up absolute height, uh, and then all your sections are going to be the same height, or you can uh, set up uh, a, an offset from the room or space instance. Okay, in this case, it's 50 centimeters. You can set up the bottom offset of the view, 
Also, if you hover uh, your mouse uh, over this I button, it will show you what is the dimension that you're setting up. The left, right, and distance before the boundary. This is the distance from the, the elevation view or section view to the, uh, to the room's boundary. And you can also set up the distance after the boundary. And if you sum these two values, you have your far clip offset value. Okay. You can also set up a boundary break tolerance, which is going to ignore the boundary breaks uh, that are uh, smaller than these values, okay? And then it's going to consider one uh, uh, direct boundary instead of counting for all the breaks. I will show you how, how this works uh, in a minute, okay? You can also set up the naming configuration, but in this case you have one additional parameter, which is the view count that you can add and set up the, the order of this view count because we'll have multiple elevations for one single room. So you can count it like elevation one, two, three, or elevation A, B, C, depending on the style that you select. Okay. You can also set up the, the order that you want it to be created and the, the starting direction of this view count. And you can also set up the parameters, okay? So browser organization, elevation, okay? Apply. Now, what we can do is uh, you have all your settings done. You can click here to add rooms and, uh, and spaces from linked files. And you can also hide uh, unchecked items, okay? So you can either select items from this list directly or if you don't know the name or number of your room you can click on this button here and then you you are going to be prompted to select rooms here so I can select these three rooms hit finish and you see that selected items three you can just see which items I selected I can select call out view elevation views and now I can hit create and then the plugin is going to start creating all the plugin, all the views for these uh, rooms. I'm gonna stop the, the video right now just so we can uh, create all the views and get back when it's done. So, after creating all the views, I received these warning messages, okay? For uh, this item here, uh, the plugin wasn't able to assign the browser organization parameter value because the view template was blocking this parameter, okay? And also for the rooms 105 and 106, because of its geometry, the plugin wasn't able to create a single marker, okay? But you can see the views were created already, but what we are going to do is we are going to... Uh, we are going to change this, okay? You see browser organization, you can check it off the view templates, okay? And also, yeah, this was the, the, the template we use for the callouts and also for the elevation views. We can go into views, right? View templates, manage view templates, and architectural elevation interior and check this out, okay? Now, one, there's an other way to do that, which is you can select all these uh, these items here and right click. So you have this context menu that you can open each elevation view for the selected items or open all. And the same thing for the callouts. And you can also delete uh, uh, single uh, views that were created or delete all. In this case, I'm going to delete all. Okay, and I'm also going to delete all callouts. Okay, so we don't have anything anymore here and I'm going to create again now that I adjusted the the view templates all right we finished creating all the views and now the only warnings that I got was that uh, the plugin wasn't able to create a single marker for the rooms 105 and 106 which was expected already okay so you can see that, for example, for the room 103, the plugin created all the views and added a single marker, okay? But for room number 105 and 6, due to the, the complex geometry, okay, it created a view for each boundary here. And the boundary break tolerance was to avoid creating views for every single boundary line here so because of that tolerance 
the plugin was able to understand that this is a, a, a straight wall and create a single uh, view for this wall all right now let's say that you've can, we can close this now let's say that you've moved something from your uh, from your rooms okay and now the view is going to is going to be wrong okay let's just push it even a little bit more okay and the views are, are, are different now you wanted some uh, one view here one view here and this view is too big okay you can just open the plugin again quick views okay you can select the room and hit update okay click OK and then it's going to update the views for this uh, room okay and now that it is updated you can see that it created some uh, additional views to cover this this uh, changes and also it adjusted the view uh, size to fit these items here okay and since we edited the template what you can do now is go to project browser organization in, in, into the views you can uh, I already created a, a, a new uh, browser organization um, item for quick views and you can just select the browser organization parameter we created and click OK and click OK and then you can see that all your callouts and elevation views are separated into these uh, groups okay and this is basically what we have for the quick views plugin I hope you guys like it and I will see you in the next one.